The following program is sponsored by the Today's Home Remodeler Television Network. Welcome to today's Home Remodeler. I'm Stuart Keith and on today's show where we get to look at the beautiful end result and learn more about the process of remodeling this 100 year old farmhouse. We'll begin by meeting with Andy Lindis from Lindis Construction. We'll start by explaining how a contractor estimates a major remodeling project like this. Next we'll see how some wood rot was repaired and we'll also check out the house wrap that was installed. And we'll finish up today's show with a review of the LP Smart siding products that were selected to restore this fourth generation home. So we have a lot to cover today, and we'll get started right after this message. Thanks for watching another Lindis Construction Project on today's Home Remodeler. And we hope you find this week's show helpful if you're remodeling a home. Because at Lindis Construction, that's all we've been doing since 1979, remodeling homes. We're your one call, one contractor that you can trust for any home improvement. Need a new roof? We can handle it. Whether it be from storm damage or just time to replace it, we offer the best roof systems from GAF. And if you're thinking about a new metal roof, we're a certified Englert metal roof dealer and we've been installing them for years. Or maybe it's time for updating the windows and siding. At Lindis Construction, we offer a range of industry-leading products with brand names you'll recognize, including Pella, Marvin, Velux, LP SmartSide, and even our own Season Guard brand, all made here in the Midwest. How about a new deck for your home, or even a new kitchen or addition? We can design it, help you with a plan, and install it for you. Need better energy efficiency? We offer home performance testing with trained specialists who will show you exactly how to improve your home. We can seal the air leaks, add insulation if needed, and if you're tired of cleaning your gutters, we offer the best solution in the world, the one and only LeafGuard Gutters. Call today for a free estimate with one of our remodeling consultants or visit our website, lindasconstruction.com. One of the biggest challenges for any remodeling contractor is trying to estimate all of the costs before a project begins. It gets even more complicated when the home is over 100 years old, has added multiple additions over the years, and there are some known areas of rot along with the presence of lead paint. So let's meet up with our contractor Andy Lindis to get some answers and see how this farmhouse remodel got started. Well, Andy, what a beautiful end result on what appears to me to be, I'd say, older than a 100-year-old farmhouse. Yeah, you know, uh, this house is older, well, like you said, older than a 100 years. It's actually the fourth generation of people living in this house. Real fun project for us because, as you know, I live in an old farmhouse, so remodeling them is near and dear to my heart. But this is an old teacher of mine that, that helped me out a lot in school. And there's lots of additions on this house. So different periods of time around the house. And they wanted to make it all look like that original farmhouse. And you know, when I look at it, you mentioned all the additions. To make it all look original is quite challenging. And you know, whether it's an old farmhouse like this out in the country or even an older home in a city setting, as a homeowner wanting to remodel it, I mean, one of the biggest fears is the estimate. I mean, how can you... How can your contractor give you an honest estimate on what it's going to take to create an end result like this? How do you handle that? Well, as you know, the, the scope of work here was pretty lengthy. So just to estimate a project like this sometimes can take the better part of a day. We've been able to really shorten that length of time through some new computer programs that we have and our customer relationship management software all working together in order to be able to price things out. We can actually just take images of the house 
all the way around and we're going to be able to generate a 360 degree view 3d model of that home and all of the measurements are going to actually appear before us we can double check them but we're going to get our window sizes the amount of trim needed the amount of softened fascia needed the amount of roofing that we're going to need on the house and then we can really start to get into the detail work because they might want this trim over here different softened fascia over there so we can really sit down go through those numbers and trust those numbers this house had a lot of telltale signs that we're going to find some rot, so we were able to figure that in on the initial bid. A lot of times, though, that stuff can be hidden. That should be the only time a contractor comes to you with a change order unless you're making changes yourself. Sure. And so do you find that the latest technology and incorporating that into your system really helps with the visualization process and ultimately the peace of mind for the homeowner before they go signing a contract? Well, as you know, we want to do our best to give the homeowner the end result before they even sign on the dotted line so they know exactly what they're going to get into. The more we can manage expectations and get on the same page with, with our customers, the better off the end result's going to be. And it makes it much easier for my installers. All of these images and, and this computer program, our guys know exactly what they need to do, when they need to do it, and they're going to try to coordinate four or five different crews on a project like this from start to finish, that's important. Yeah, it is. Can we go up there and take a look at some of those challenging areas you have to deal with? Yeah, absolutely. Andy, before we get into the specifics, let's just talk generally about what your company did on this project. Well, a little bit of everything. We had some decking work and a front porch built. Season guard windows were installed on the front porch. All new LP smart side all the way around. All new soft and facial all the way around and all new leaf guard gutters all the way around. Is this a pretty challenging project for your company? Yes and no. I think this is really where we specialize, being that remodeling is our specialty, especially on the home's exterior. And our crews, whether it's our siding guys, our decking guys, our window guys, our gutter guys, all they do is that particular project so they get really efficient at it and there's not a lot that can surprise them. Now with the type of siding that we're using here, being that it was new to us, there were some challenges there, we're able to take our most experienced crew and test some things out. I think this is what really keeps us on the cutting edge. Every year we're able to work with our installers that have been here for years and find new and better ways to install and are able to test these new products out. Again, from a homeowner standpoint, that's the ultimate and peace of mind is even if you encounter a challenge, mm -hmm. your guys are going to be able to overcome it yes. and get end results that speak for themselves. Now, what type of siding did you encounter when you first got out here? Well, there's a couple different varieties of siding on here. The old uh, three inch reveal cedar siding that had been painted on, on numerous occasions throughout the years. Sure. And then on some of the newer additions in the garage was this older vinyl siding. In fact, the vinyl siding I'd never seen vinyl siding do what this siding was oh, doing. Yeah. You remember the whole bottom row was discolored and starting to mold. It had green algae actually growing on the vinyl siding. Oh so my gosh. And so it's time for a change. Yes. Now with the old siding that you had to, again, remove because it all starts with demolition, did you encounter any lead paint? Are there some hazardous precautions you need to take as a contractor? Being that the house is built prior to 1978, lead paint comes up and I've been talking to the homeowners they thought they had sanded everything down to the bare wood before and that that lead probably wasn't going to show up my experience is it usually still does and we went around with our x-ray gun and we were able to find lead paint coming back to us on all surfaces so we had to use lead safe practices throughout mark off the territory put everything in plastic use a line dumpster and of course have our guys always wear the safety equipment just to make sure everybody was safe not only my guys working here but the homeowners as well. Sure, again, it comes back to peace of mind for the homeowner. And you should look for a contractor who goes the extra mile to do it right. Not only is it required, but just think from a safety standpoint for the workers themselves, their families, the homeowners here. I mean, does it really cost that much more to do it right? No, average job for lead safe practices is, is under $500. So when you think, I mean, poly's cheap and just wearing the suits and the safety equipment and having things marked off, there's not a lot that goes into it. So it's relatively cheap, so I don't really understand why anybody wouldn't do it. Sure, no such thing as a good shortcut. No. I mean, you want to do it right at any aspect of it, that's for sure. Let's continue around. I mean, this is an awesome project. Stay tuned, we'll continue our project tour with Linda's Construction next, here 
on today's Home Remodeler. Thanks for watching another Lindis Construction Project on today's Home Remodeler. And we hope you find this week's show helpful if you're remodeling a home. Because at Lindis Construction, that's all we've been doing since 1979, remodeling homes. We're your one call, one contractor that you can trust for any home improvement. Need a new roof? We can handle it. Whether it be from storm damage or just time to replace it, we offer the best roof systems from GAF. And if you're thinking about a new metal roof, we're a certified Englert metal roof dealer and we've been installing them for years. Or maybe it's time for updating the windows and siding. At Lindis Construction, we offer a range of industry-leading products with brand names you'll recognize, including Pella, Marvin, Velux, LP SmartSide, and even our own Season Guard brand, all made here in the Midwest. How about a new deck for your home, or even a new kitchen or addition? We can design it, help you with a plan, and install it for you. Need better energy efficiency? We offer home performance testing with trained specialists who will show you exactly how to improve your home. We can seal the air leaks, add insulation if needed, and if you're tired of cleaning your gutters, we offer the best solution in the world, the one and only LeafGuard Gutters. Call today for a free estimate with one of our remodeling consultants or visit our website, lindasconstruction.com. Most remodeling projects usually look good on the outside when they are all done. And this home was no exception, with the new LP Smart Siding that was installed. But it's often what you don't see during the construction process that's really important. So let's catch up with our contractor, Andy Lindis, to see how this old farmhouse was repaired and prepped for the new siding. You know, Andy, our camera crew is up here during the demolition process. And what amazed me was all the different substrates that they encountered, all the different boards, the OSB, modern, old. And is it fair to say when you're going through the demolition, but more importantly on the preparation for the new product, you want to have a nice smooth plane? Absolutely. You know, this is a house that has been remodeled a couple different times throughout its 100 year existence. <laughs> to say the least. Yeah. So you, you have OSB here, you have the old oak boards, one by sixes, one by eights. I think there's a variety of them on that house. And one of the biggest things that we wanted to accomplish on this project was trying to make the newer addition match the old four square so everything can marry together and look the same. So making sure that those underlayments all line up and we have a nice smooth surface when we get to the inside corners on this house was important. So a little bit of uh, executive think power went into it on the front end. We're able to make it match nice and I don't think you would actually be able to come here and look at it and say that was newer than that part. Well Andy, once the estimation process is completed and you get into the project itself, I mean I want to know more about the communication stream and how the homeowner is involved. And do you have a foreman on site, a project coordinator? I mean, because as a homeowner with a major project being done in my house, I, you know, I kind of want to be in the loop. We're going to have one person in our office, a project coordinator, that's going to be with the whole project from start to finish. Now, every one of our divisions has a lead person on the job site and somebody back at the office that runs those crews. So a lot of communication. Fortunately, with our new customer relationship management software, everything's married together. Everybody's seeing every step of the process. So the scheduling and the timelines are really starting to shrink down. But on this actual particular job site, one guy in charge at all times. Sure, and then if you encounter some rot or an issue that was unforeseen, the homeowner, you can go and actually show it to them, right? Because I remember this window here had a lot of rot underneath it. It did. And now, with technology being that it is, we're able to take some pictures, put a little words on this customer database. Everybody that's involved with the project automatically gets an alert that lets them know. The homeowner can receive a text even if they want to see the different stages of their project. So communication has really become much easier on our part. And we're able to see exactly what's going on real time on every one of the projects that we're working on. Sure, I know if I'm a homeowner, going through a process or entering a project like this, that's one of the questions I'm going to be asking my contractor is, how advanced is your company? There's a lot of new technology that can make a project like this go smoother yeah. and get the results that I want. Now, back to the rod underneath here, there was quite a bit as I recall, wasn't it? There was. And rot is something that we're inevitably going to find on a 100-year-old home. We had some figured in. There ended up being more than even we anticipated. 
But we were able to make some changes on the fly, let the homeowners know immediately, and with the tools that we have and the materials that we always have on the job site, it didn't really delay us all that much. Sure, now why was there so much rot underneath here? None of these windows really were flashed properly, so almost underneath every window there was some rot repair that needed to happen. This one particularly was bad, which was a worry to us because we wanted to save this original window that had the old leaded glass. We knew we were going to replace it, and if you see here, this is a new season guard dead light picture window that's in here and we're able to take the leaded glass and install it on the inside of the house so not only does the exterior look original the inside remains the same it's the original oak woodwork that's in there and we're able to match everything up stand it all to match and so it really turned out awesome the homeowners tickled with it oh i bet this is a four generation home that's probably an integral aspect of the interior decor i mean leaded glass from a hundred years ago yet i would venture to guess this is a hundred times more energy efficient and you were able to have it aesthetically look original yeah it gets really emotional when you start to think about this is something my great great grandfather had put into this house and I want to keep it here. What do I need to do to keep it here? And when you see how much rot was happening, this window could have fallen out and been damaged at any time. So to be able to save that, put it back to its original period when, as far as it looks, was a big deal for Makes us. Makes you feel good, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does, it does. And, and you know, back to the rot here, I'm always amazed at your experience, carpenters, that it's second nature to them. They're like, no, no big deal, we'll get it. And they don't take out the whole wall. They take out what is needed and then they have the right tools to make, you know, if they need a special board plane down, they have all the tools with them. The siding guys, decking guys, window guys, they're all carpenters by trade. And they have to be. You're in the remodeling business, you're gonna run into stuff like this on almost every job. So if you look in our vans or the trailers that the guys pull, there could be a table saw in there, a couple of different types of miter boxes, every nail gun you could think of. There's going to be different types of building materials that hopefully we'll have enough on site to be able to fix everything. They're going to be having planers out. And so we have all the tools to do everything that we have at the job site because we know delaying a project like this for two days while you run around and get this tool from over here or you got to go rent that tool from over there and then you got to go find this building material from whoever Having this stuff on site and having the forethought in order to make sure that we do just speeds up the process. When timelines are as important as they are to us, that, that's a big deal. Yep, you want a contractor that can streamline the project and get it done properly, that's for sure. Now, once they have it prepped properly, mm -hmm. I know the house wrap plays an important role, doesn't it? They talked about maybe blowing in more insulation in the walls, but for the most part, they had pretty decent insulation in the old two by four walls, so not a lot of space to actually put the insulation, but the insulation was there. We talked about putting foam on it, but that foam, you gotta build out the wall and you gotta build out the windows, and it's just a pain in the butt. The new R6 house wrap that we're able to put on, not only are we gonna be able to seal it up tight and deal with any of the air infiltration problems that they've had in the past, it really is gonna give them a good R value on the exterior of their home. Now, first and foremost, a good house wrap, that is for air sealing? And, but it allows moisture to escape, is that correct? Absolutely, and when you're using a, a product such as LP SmartSide, which is gonna be nailed tight on the wall, or any of the cement boards, it's even more important with these cement boards, but our host wrap actually has a grid pattern built into it, so should moisture get behind the actual siding itself, which is possible, it's gonna have a drainage plan and a way to get out. It's not just gonna sit there and cause problems. Okay, and so you want to make sure you have, again, an experienced contractor who understands the role of each of the components out there. Yeah. Now, Everything has to work together. The Insultex house wrap that you use, I think that's what it was called, mm -hmm. that actually has an R value, so some insulation value to the home, right? I can tell you this. The homes that we've used it on, the homeowners know a dramatic difference. We get letters and testimonials on a weekly basis telling us how much more comfortable we've made their house, whether it's easier to cool in the summertime, it's much warmer in the wintertime, or it's a porch area that we did, some insulation work to, an air infiltration work to, they just say, I can actually use my whole house now in the wintertime. We hear stuff like that all the time. So I know I'm a big believer in our Insultex house wrap. Well, scenes believing and just experiencing is believing. And if somebody out there is saying, oh, that stuff, how can it possibly work? Well, just ask the people who have actually used the product and they've been living there for 50 years and all of a sudden you put the product on and it works. That right there means the world to me. Making the house more comfortable to the people that have been here forever is the ultimate goal. Not only is it going to be more aesthetically pleasing, air infiltration, a better R value, and no maintenance. So a lot of great things checked off the list here, all with one product. 
Stick around. We'll continue with today's home remodeler after this message. Thanks for watching another Linda's Construction Project on today's Home Remodeler. And we hope you find this week's show helpful if you're remodeling a home. Because at Linda's Construction, that's all we've been doing since 1979, remodeling homes. We're your one call, one contractor that you can trust for any home improvement. Need a new roof? We can handle it. Whether it be from storm damage or just time to replace it, we offer the best roof systems from GAF. And if you're thinking about a new metal roof, we're a certified Englert metal roof dealer and we've been installing them for years. Or maybe it's time for updating the windows and siding. At Lindis Construction, we offer a range of industry-leading products with brand names you'll recognize, including Pella, Marvin, Velux, LP SmartSide, and even our own Season Guard brand, all made here in the Midwest. How about a new deck for your home or even a new kitchen or addition? We can design it help you with a plan, and install it for you. Need better energy efficiency? We offer home performance testing with trained specialists who will show you exactly how to improve your home. We can seal the air leaks, add insulation if needed, and if you're tired of cleaning your gutters, we offer the best solution in the world, the one and only LeafGuard Gutters. Call today for a free estimate with one of our remodeling consultants or visit our website, lindasconstruction.com. So far in today's show, we've been reviewing the exterior restoration of this 100-year-old farmhouse. We learned how a remodeling project like this is estimated, and we saw the repair and preparation that was done before the new siding was applied. Now let's once again catch up with Andy Lindis from Lindis Construction to finish our walkthrough. You know, Andy, I always enjoy visiting your projects because I love to see attention to detail. And, you know, a homeowner might walk by and go, what the heck's that? They don't even notice what that is. But from past shows, I know how important what you refer as a kick-out flashing is. Yeah, this is going to be taped and sealed to the actual underlayment. The metal is actually going to go up the wall depending on the area as far as we can. But it's really a $3 part that we can make right here on the job site with our brakes that we have. And this little piece can save you thousands of dollars in future rotten damage. If this is not installed on a house where anytime a roof comes into a siding, any type of additions or bump outs, if we see that, that that does not have a kickout flashing, we're automatically going to figure in some type of rot repair. And we're going to try to investigate as far as we can without having to tear into the actual house. What I've seen whole doors that are rotten out, walls that need to be replaced. Like I said, thousands of dollars are damaged over a $2 part. And every time we touch a house, you can be sure one of these is gonna be installed. Well, I mean, that is the benefit of hiring a competent, experienced contractor. And I mean, something as simple as that, a $3 part that can prevent the catastrophic rot that can occur on an old house and a new house, nonetheless. Now this is a kind of a interesting, I shall say, front porch. It is, and this part right here is our design, but the porch was kind of an afterthought. There was one part of the porch that was built, and then they added onto it, and what ended up happening, that whole wall actually came to the corner post. So from right here, it used to come straight across. Yeah, so it would be this window opening up into another window, so it was never really going to the outside. So in order to get this window to actually be able to have outdoor air in again, we moved that wall back redesigned the actual porch and tried to make it as period friendly as we possibly could so it looked like the original house but now it's a usable space again if you saw what this porch looked like and the amount of rotten wood that was in here and how inoperable any of the windows were it really wasn't a usable space for not only did we make it look nicer we made it usable again. Sure, and you know, when we talk about the end result looking so beautiful, I love the LP smart side that they selected because it really does have that old world three inch reveal look they were looking for. This is something that you're not gonna see in a lot of places because it's not available. This was customized by our crew in our shop. We took a normal piece of LP smart siding, the eight inch reveal, we ripped it down in order to give us just a little bit over three inch reveal on this siding. They wanted to match that old cedar three inch that was on here with the original four square, but 
that's not available anymore. When given the choice of the options out there, she really fell in love with the LP Smart side because of the way it looks and the type of material that it's made out of. And I know from doing past shows with you, it's a full line of products, so you get the full wrap protection of a durable, long-lasting product. Absolutely. That's really why we, we gravitate towards LP. And like most homeowners, when you see the cost difference between this and a high-end vinyl or this and a steel, majority of them choose LP, even over the cement boards that are out there. Sure, not to mention the long-term durability of the paint finish itself. Yes. They're not going to have to worry about this either, are they? No, it's all factory finish, baked on finish that they'll never have to worry about. Warranties, of course, good for them and the next person that owns your house. Now here, as I recall, this is a new front entryway included is the new front door. Yeah, I don't think anybody had used this entryway in quite some time. The door really didn't work all that well. The, the entryway was one, not safe, but uh, two, just not aesthetically pleasing. So knowing that this is the street side of the home, it was important to make this look as good as possible, have a functioning door. So all new doors and windows, this porch, really is going to be a place where I see these homeowners spending a lot of time. And it looks like they opted for maintenance freedom. Again, with the high quality products, they're not going to have to worry about this. On a southern exposure with the sun beating down, they're not going to worry about it rotting and yeah, fading. Yeah, the last thing that you want to do when you spend this much money on remodeling is know, hey, in two years, I'm going to have to refinish my deck, which is a boat on a place that's full sun. That's the longest you're ever going to get sure. out of any of the finishes out there. So maintenance free here, where all they have to do is every now and then spray it down with a hose and you're good to go. Well, Andy, the end result obviously speaks for itself. And it's a great example of, from a homeowner standpoint, you want one call, one contractor, and make the whole process appear seamless. On a project like this, when you're talking about so many different crews that are going to have to touch it, this is really what makes us unique. All of those crews are under one roof. No subcontractors whatsoever. The decking guys, my guys. The guys that installed the windows, my guys. All the carpentry work that was done throughout, my carpenters. The siding guys, all they do is install siding for us. So when we can schedule every one of those crews in an easy way without having to even make a phone call, just looking and talking at our own shop, it makes the project go that much smoother. And when we talk about one call, one contractor, do your homework, and if you ask the right questions, you're gonna get your best value and find the contractor that can create an end result like this. Well, it's always enjoyable, and this one didn't disappoint. Thanks a lot for coming on. My pleasure. The preceding program was sponsored by the Today's Home Remodeler Television Network. This scares a lot of people, as it should. Cleaning gutters is not just a messy chore, but a dangerous one. I'm Andy Lindis, and I install LeafGuard gutters. They're covered, one piece, and do not have to be cleaned out, ever. And you never climb up and down this ladder again. Good deal?